Hi guys, it's Claire from the Cross Family Podcast. I'm here to tell you some exciting news. We have taken our podcast to Spotify. Click the link in the description and like, comment and subscribe for the next episode. Spotify, oh, we're on Spotify, girl. We are on Spotify. I wanted to take a second to talk about our new sponsor and that's Luna Finance. Our new sponsor is an asset and finance company that's making a real difference across Australia. Imagine you're a parent finally looking to get a new car or maybe you're on the cusp of launching a new business Luna Finance can make that happen for you from cars suited to the everyday family or if you're a bloke like myself and you need a big truck to drive <laughs> Luna Finance has got you covered what truly sets Luna Finance apart is how easy they make the process no need to adjust your schedule their 24 7 online applications at lunafinance.com.au is a game changer and if you're not into filling out online forms any of that kind of stuff no worries just submit your details online and they're dedicated team will get in touch with you. They're all about making finance accessible no matter who you are or what you're looking for. Turn your aspirations into achievements with just a click. Apply at lunarfinance.com.au today and discover the lunar finance difference. Season C's apply subject to credit specifications. Get over to Instagram and find them at lunarfinance.com.au and tell them Crossy sent you. And thanks to Luna for sponsoring this episode. Welcome to the Cross Family Podcast, a podcast about nothing but absolutely everything at the same time. Um, but mostly it's just my wife and I thinking we're more, more entertaining than we actually are. And you guys thinking that too. You guys believing it. Is that what I usually say? Yeah, you yeah. guys believing it. <laughs> and we're the Cross Family Podcast. Cross Family Podcast. <laughs> um, this week we have a special guest on our podcast. We have a series that we're going to call The Inner Circle. And you are our first guest on The Inner Circle Podcast series hey <laughs> <laughs> but like, i thought she wrote, she wrote an intro for you yeah. oh, oh i thought i'd just like catch everyone up on like you know how we met each other so we don't have to talk about it all okay we can just talk about the juicy stuff yes so hannah is um my best friend we met over 15 years ago can you believe it i was 20 i know i hadn't even met my husband you hadn't met yours no that's right we hadn't even met that's actually really cool we've got lots of cool stories yeah actually yeah that's right so we've been friends for over 15 years hannah was born in Macedon, new zealand she's got an identical brother sorry (laughs) identical twin sister that's weird can't happen just so you know (laughs) identical brother (laughs) oh some people are your brother's identical to you. That's true. Have you seen Ben without a beard? It's me. <laughs> oh, wow. No. Yeah, we no. look the same. Anyway, and an older sister. Hannah survived the Christchurch <laughs> earthquake. No, an identical and twin, twin sister, sister and, and an, an older, older brother. brother. Yeah, cool. And family of five. Okay, grew up as a family of five in Macedon, New Zealand. Hannah went through the earthquakes in Christchurch and then you moved to Brisbane. And then shortly after you moved over here, we met. And Correct. we were instantly friends. Yes. And um, then she wobbled to my sister for a bit. And then we wobbled back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and we all had a really close group of friends, hey? Yeah. yeah. Thanks to Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we met through church. That's right. Yeah, yeah we went through church. <laughs> yeah, we were at a church. Um, it was a youth group thing. Well, it? young adults. Oh, okay. It, it wasn't a youth, youth group. It, we were, it was like a winter in July. Yeah, Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Christmas in July. Christmas in July. Yeah. And there was like seven of us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Hannah was my bridesmaid at our wedding and I consider Hannah to be my best friend and sister because I believe that sisters grow together and Sorry, sometimes Sarah. they... <laughs> well, she's also my <laughs> sister. <laughs> like you sometimes... Don't always talk to each other, but when you do get back together, it's just like yes. the day before. Yes. Even though you might have had a fight or like not wanted to talk to each other or whatever. Yeah. So we've been through some pretty full on things together, um, like grief, bliss, happiness, new relationships, children. Boys. Boys. <laughs> fuck boys. Oh, hey! <laughs> Dating. Internet, Dating. Yep. All the things. You had a really lovely relationship with my mum. Yes. And I'm very jealous that she got to meet your little boy. Yes. Yeah. Um, I love that you've always been so obsessed with children. Mm-hmm. And not Hannah's, in a weird way. Not in a weird way. 
Yes, you do. do. Okay, we anyway. don't live in that world anymore. Sorry. Hannah works in childcare, yeah. and then you used to be a nanny as well. Oh, long ago. Yeah. Yeah. But I love that you also did children's parties as like yes. Elsa and yes. princesses. They did, and I loved it. How funny! I did. I yeah. think that's Dressed the cutest story. Belle, and honestly, those kids like genuinely thought that I was Elsa. I was, yeah. I feel sorry for people like Taylor Swift because, you know, 50 kids running at you thinking that you're Elsa. I can't imagine what it's like with adults. Oh, my God. So we'd like to pre-book you for the next, like, 10 parties. <laughs> if it's for Olive, I'll do it in a second. It's for Olive. Yeah, no yeah. worries. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember the first time you mentioned GJ to me. Oh! I actually do. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you, were, you met on Plenty of Fish. We did. And you were going on a date with him. Yes. You had like chatted to him for a little bit. You were going on a date with him for a lo- like, I think you were going on Sunny Coast. We sure did. And you were like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do if there's like a lull in the conversation. So I've got like a hundred questions to ask someone. It was 500, babe. 500 <laughs> questions. And do you know what I was thinking to myself just before? When is there ever a lull in the conversation with Hannah? How funny. Like do you know, literally no, Can I tell you not. something? Not something. Well, the funny thing is, is that Gordo hates talking in the car. So, so funny. we yes. So is that like a thing with him? it is. Oh, well, it was he's not a, anymore. He's though. a big music person. He so huge music person. Does he just like to listen to music in the car? I just like silence. But he married. <laughs> oh, seriously, he does. I don't talk to me. Then. But he married People. a talker. Um, yeah, <laughs> as did you, Certified <laughs> yapper. Yeah. yeah. The only other thing I was going to say is that. You are a certified cheerleader. Um, if anyone ever has like a Tupperware party no. or maybe Avon. Sensi. Sensi. <laughs> anything like that. And you want someone to just like hype everyone up into like spending lots of money, Hannah will come. I am an influencer that is not an influencer. Yeah. It's literally the funniest thing. Anyway, I can convince you to buy like, oh, anything. Oh my god, that's amazing! But I'm genuine about it. That's the thing, though. It like actually, people think that I'm yeah. taking the piss. I'm actually no. not. I am genuinely, genuinely hyped about flawed stuff. about this. A very small life, guys. Yeah, yeah. The little lettuce, life. Crisper. Little life. Yeah. <laughs> and Hannah is Olive's godmother. Yes, they have yeah. a very special bond. It's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. So that's Hannah. Only, only rule about being so. a godmother is no chill. Yeah. That's all right. Hannah's bought yes. Olive. Uh, um, I just bought her a dollhouse. A dollhouse. That I'm gonna, Did you really? Yeah, I'm going to renovate it. She's going to renovate the dollhouse. Oh, funny, and this is Hannah Dimmick. Hannah Dimmick, this is your life. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, good. All right, Hannah, how was your week? Um, week, oh, week's been a bit rough, mate, because I just got back from New Zealand. And yes. Did yes. Really? Yeah, I did. Hannah went to New Zealand for a wedding. I did. And um, in total, I think I spent, slept about... 23 hours for the weeks that I was there. Um, it's actually something I want to talk to you about, Jacques, because mm. I found, I, like, I couldn't sleep and I was so excited about going home. Yeah. Um, and I was thinking, oh, you know, I just, like, all the creature comforts and going to the supermarket and the weather and that kind of stuff mm. and the things that make me feel happy. And I got over there and I was like, oh, I'm not feeling the joy. Like, oh, why yeah. is this? What's going on? Like, you know, yeah, it's okay. green and it's beautiful and it's, this feels, this is the normal road I used to go down oh, all yeah. the time. Here we go. And then... <laughs> no, the microphone's coming here. Okay, good. Yeah. And then um, it wasn't until I came back, I was talking to a Kiwi mum of one of my kids mm. and I was explaining to her, I was like, I just don't really understand. Like, I just didn't feel the joy. I didn't feel fulfilled after I got back. Yeah. And she said to me that the same thing happened to her oh. and it's because home isn't a place anymore. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Nah, that, that's real. Yeah. 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 And yeah. that hit me so hard. And yeah. as soon as she said that to me, I always remember when you said your famous wedding speech about when you looked at Claire in the eye, yeah. you knew that you were home. I literally realised that, that she was your home. home was wherever she was. Yeah, yeah wherever she was. And yeah. that that's literally went that straight through my head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it was really sad because I've gone, you yeah. know, I'm 37 yeah. and I'm yeah. like, oh, no, that's cool. You know, like this is – New Zealand's my home. And, you know, we left because – you know, it wasn't working for Gordo mm, and yeah. all that yeah. kind of stuff. And then I was like, no, 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 like, you know, this is, we'll just keep doing life. Mm. And then you realise something that you thought was something mm. is actually not. Yeah. And yeah. it's the 
my boys, it doesn't matter where we are yeah. in the world, that they, they are my home, which is, yeah, yeah it's yeah. a weird, like a grief kind of thing. And that's what the mum said to yeah, me too. Yeah, she yeah. actually yeah. grieved it because she's married in Australia and had two kids. And she's been... Home's not back there anymore. No, yeah, not at all. I'm the same as well now. Really? Yeah. yeah. Did yeah. you have the realisation at the same time, like at the time though? Um, no, nah, I think it just happened over time. Like right. I, I felt the same thing as you. Yeah. Like, but literally, I've said to Claire so many times that if my family wasn't back home, I wouldn't, I would never go back there. Yeah, yeah. right. Because it's just the place now. Yeah. But I, I wasn't really all that sad about it, to be honest with you. Right. Yeah. Although you're a totally different makeup to what I am, so look, I'm going to make a big deal about it if I can. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, no. Guys, no, it's a big deal. It okay, is a don't big do deal. Not. Well, I get what you're saying, but I, but I left when I was 14, 15. Yeah, right. I wasn't okay. an adult when I left. Yeah. yeah. So like, I became a man here. Oh, you right. know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah, you yeah, grew up. I, I yeah. grew up here, yeah. basically. And true. Through, through adolescence. And yeah, then, true. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, I came over when I was, like, an adult. Yeah. And then, yeah. So, you, you, so I think you might have already been attached to things yes. there. Yes. Well, I'm a comfort girl. a life there. Yeah. yeah. I'm a comfort yeah. thing. Like, I like, you know, my house to be a certain way, and I like yeah. everything to... Um, <laughs> Just ignore the That's child. That's our three-year-old. <laughs> He's uh, trying to put himself to sleep. Yeah. Not successful yet. FOMO. Someone let him sleep too long. Today. Oh, that's right. He Anyways, moving on. Um, no, yeah. I know, I know so yes, yeah, so that's what the, so the week has been kind yeah. of recovered from that. And how long were you over there for? A week. Yeah. Who got married? Uh, a mate, just a friend. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't say just a friend, but um, yeah, a, a friend from from Oxford. So shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Oxford. No, <laughs> no, they live. They, they live in Oxford. Yeah, they know. don't live in Oxford. They now live in oh. uh, out of Geraldine. They live in a place called. Ma- it doesn't matter. They're dairy oh. farmers. I met them when oh, they were my cute. mum friends, yeah. and then they've been been um, engaged for nine years. Did you work on years. their farm? No, oh. we yeah, met okay. through play centre. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, so she was a actually no, it wasn't play centre, it was at um Kendi and hype girl that I am saw her in the in the um what's it called? The car park and I was like, Oh, I haven't seen her before. Oh, she must be a new mum, went up to her and I'm like, Hey, I'm Hannah <laughs> And then she's like, Hey, this is my first day with my kids I'm like, Oh, come with me and then took her into my wing so and then sweet. Uh, so nice, such a nice person. So yeah. How's GJ going? All right. Yes. Oh well GJ just for everybody is Hannah's husband. Yes. We didn't say, we're just all of a sudden just started oh, talking yes. about him. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm married to a man called Gordon. Yeah. Um, and my son's called Gordon, yep. too. Um, no, we call him James. But, um, but yeah, so we call him Gordo, GJ, Gords, whatever. Yeah. That's the How's he going, right? Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Yeah, he's just, yeah, he's, um, yeah, doing really good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't have much of a weekly update except to say that um, I added something to our shopping list this week for Jacques. What? You want to share with everyone what you Was asked it coconut for? oil? Nope. Okay. Jacques. <laughs> and I shut the fuck <laughs> up about the coconut oil. <laughs> oh, no, you've had that for ages, eh? Yeah, yeah, no, you're good. Yeah. Shut up. Go, a little what? bit goes a long way. Um, Jacques is now exclusively using <laughs> Femme Fresh. <laughs> It is so bad for you. What? It is. Femfresh is so bad for you. What do you mean? Why? It, because it alters your natural pH. You're not supposed to use it. Your vagina is a self-cleaning thing. Yeah, but he doesn't have a vagina. Well, what are you using Femfresh for? Your face? I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because it's the best. Like, because. I'm it's just, the best. I don't know if I'm going to see you what? if I can ask off and It's up. the best. So I was what? using like just men's body wash. Uh huh. And things weren't really all that nice down there. Uh huh. And then randomly in a shower that I used on the road, I won't say where the shower yes. was, someone left a bottle of Femme Fresh oh in my there. God. I used it. Oh, God. And I literally it's called Claire so and said, wrong. like, my, my never smelt. <laughs> <laughs> has never smelt this like nothing. So you guys are both looking at me like, what's your problem? <laughs> this is so funny. I think this is hilarious. You're getting all nervous. Yeah, I'm fucking. He's, I don't want to talk about like how one. Well, first, but but like normal well, we men's body wash it. wasn't. It just like I never knew it was the body have wash. You got, have you got? Have you got? Have you got your foreskin? Yeah. Yeah, right. And you, you pull it back and stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm cutting this okay. out. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, that's <What>? too much. <laughs> he knows how to clean his yeah, dick. I, I'm, I'm He's 20. Just okay. Okay. He's a very sweaty no. person. Oh, yeah, right. But, but what I'm so saying is... So it's a is... bacteria. No, no, no it was, sorry, the, it was using just men's body say. wash. It, it, was, right. it wasn't... It was like the perfume in them. 
Ah. Yeah. And as much as, and I just didn't know his body wash. And then one day I used FemFresh and then sorted it straight out. <laughs> sponsored, not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? Not sponsored, but it's 7.30. Market to truck drivers, I swear. <laughs> I'll sell it for you. <laughs> It's like $7.30 I shouldn't be knocking packet, it. So. Yeah, I would buy it. Yeah. There was a girl so at work, sponsors. actually. I'll tell you the story. So there was a girl at work who, she was younger, and she constantly used FemFresh, and she was always getting UTIs. Uh-huh. And she was doing, you know, the golden rule. After you have sex, then she went to the toilet, but she was constantly getting UTIs. Uh-huh. And I said to and then she said that she used it. I was like, oh, you know, you clean down there? And she's like, yeah, I use FemFresh every day. Yeah. I'm like, honey, you're not supposed to use FemFresh. It's a self-cleaning thing down there. Yeah. And then um, she stopped using it. She stopped, has stopped getting UTIs. Just saying. Well, good story. She should stop having sex if she doesn't want UTIs. No, That's against the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> that's why no, we I'm stopped joking. having I'm sex. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Anyway, so that was your week. Great. Yeah. That's why you wanted to talk about. <laughs> Look at you, half pissed off, half a cruise. Come on, get another drink. Oh, sorry, I'm so glad I did not know that story. Yeah, that I didn't either, so Hannah. Funny. I didn't know she was going to bring it up. Like an asshole. <laughs> I'd be really interested to see whether you could put a poll up. Has any males used FemFresh? We thought we'd compile all of your years of life into maybe like four topics to like chat okay. through. Yeah. So I thought a couple of things that would be interesting to talk about were like the earthquake. Mm-hmm. A situation that happened when we were friends mm-hmm. with an ex, yep. which I think is literally cooked it's yep. the most cooked story i've heard in my life no definitely not the most well it's one of them okay um your experience with pregnancy and why mm-hmm. you, why you guys are a one child household yeah and then what did i say the last one was uh, oh your car accident yeah yeah okay cool so which one happened first in like the um, maybe the car accident I think it would have been the car accident. Do you want to start there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I survived a car accident. Yeah. I survived all these traumas, but yeah, I survived. Let's this. do a trauma dump. A we trauma do this dump. every week. <laughs> um, so we, I was um, working, I was in the South Island. I've done many jobs in my little life, but I was working for a uh, agricultural contractor down in North Canterbury. Yeah. Um, and I was, it was the best job. They call them like girl Friday. So basically you're like a, I was a PA to the contractor. So he'd be like, Hannah, can you go down to Timaru and pick up some parts? And so I'd drive the truck down, go get some parts and then bring them back, which would be cheaper than him having to get them curried or whatever, because he needed them straight away. Or can you get in the tractor and go and drill, you know, old mate's uh, paddock or whatever. So I got so, to do that and I loved it. So every day was completely, completely different. Completely different. Yeah. Outside I would get, like I had to, I was cleaning down the, um, cleaning down all the vehicles and stuff like that. I absolutely loved it. It was, I know, don't kill me for saying this, but um, it was doing a woman, a woman doing a man's job. So I would go home yeah. being mm. physically yeah. exhausted and yeah. I hadn't like used mental pathetic brain you know that i sometimes use yeah on a daily basis How old are you? um i was in my early 20s yeah. yeah so um yeah so that was um an amazing job anyway so one day the boss said to me hannah can you go and pick up the boys um it would have been maybe a 15 minute drive of that and um is that his kids no, but so boys, picking up the, the boys, the yes, yeah, so all the boys. So the um, harvester had broken down, okay. and um, he asked me to go out and pick up the boys because basically they're just standing around doing nothing. And if yeah. he could get them back out, then he could probably get them back to base, then he could probably get them out to another job or yeah. they could finish up for the day. So he's paying them while they're out there. Yeah. No big deal. So um, I was like, yep, no, no problems. Um, got into the ute and started traveling down the road. And um, funny enough, um, oh, like a couple of weeks before, I had been driving with my boss and we were driving on a shingle road. And I said to him, oh, don't you ever get nervous? So that's like a loose gravel road. Oh, gravel okay, road. yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I, I was like, oh, you know, do you ever get nervous driving? Because he used to, used to hoof it down roads. And he'd be like, no, 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 no. He said, the one thing you need to remember is if you're 
car starts to skid, you let go and mm-hmm. just let the car, like, take your foot off the brake and don't go with it. Just try, like, and get out of it as best as you can, basically. Yeah. I'm not really articulating that right. Anyway, so this particular road that I went down, um, I'll be on it. Like, I was unfortunately on my phone sending a text I put my phone down and then I looked up and there was literally a slight bend in the road and um I was going too fast and it started to swerve and I was like oh my god and I could feel like this thing go through my body and I'm like oh my gosh but I corrected myself and I was like oh thank god and I was like I'm not looking at my phone like I'm not doing that again um and so I started driving again like going slow and then there was another rise with a slight curve and then then it just let go, let go. and it just really? so I remember the last thing I remember was heading towards because it was pine trees all down the side and of the the road and then on the other side of the road um was light poles e. like like the old school big yeah. like um wooden ones and I remember heading towards the um the tree thinking to myself, I am not going to die, but this is not going to end well. That is the last thing I remember. Then the next thing, I'm facing a completely different way. There is smoke going everywhere. I, the, um... Like, have you guys ever Airbag. been in a car accident before? Yeah. And there's that smell after a car accident. Like, when you're in the car and it's, like, this airy oh. silence, these, like, little noises or whatever, but there's a smell yeah. of, like, engine and, yeah, the airbag and stuff. Yeah. And I just remember getting out of the car going, oh, fuck, 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 yeah. fuck, fuck. Yeah. And all I wanted to do was try and find my phone because I was like, I've got to ring Pete, I've got to ring Pete, yeah. I've got to ring Pete get out of the car and, and then looked at the front of the car and I'm like, oh, my God, he's good. That's, oh, my God, I can't believe this has happened. Was it still up against the tree? No. So I we had literally – I had hit the tree and yeah. then like, I, I don't remember. Did you cause roll? I, no. No, it didn't no, no, roll. No. So it was a Nissan Navara. And so what they actually made to do is they, they – They crumple. Yes, so yeah, they go yeah. in and then they come back. Yeah. So which is – an insane because the um, insurance guy that came he said that literally saved my life yeah. if I was oh, in wow. something house it, yeah. I would have been a goner because like the whole front of the truck it just literally went in and then it starts to break down that's just the way yeah. that the trucks yeah. are made well all cars are like that now most cars that, are yeah. they yeah. oh yeah right okay cool yeah. oh wow that's yeah. interesting makes sense though yeah Anyway, um, so found my phone and I like, tried to get on the RT, but it was, wasn't was mm. working. And then I rang my boss, but I remember he was talking to someone as I was leaving and I was like, he's not going to answer his phone. Got one of the boys and I'm like, Pomba, Pomba, oh my gosh, I've been in a car accident. And he's like, Pomba. Yeah, it was his name. Yeah. He's like, fuck we off. Pomba in our family. Oh, yeah. did you? I got yeah. funny. Um, he's like, fuck off, Hannah, hurry up. We just want to get back. We might even make it to the pub or something along those lines. And <laughs> oh I'm like, God. I've been a fucking accident. Get your fucking ass down here. And he's like, oh shit, oh my God, oh my God, we're on our way. Where are you? And I'm like, I told him where I was. And he's like, oh my God, we're on our way. And they, next minute, well, felt honestly, like forever and then yeah. they come hooning down the road and I'm going slow down slow down because <laughs> oh I'm thinking goodness. they're going to do gonna exactly do what thing. I just did yeah. um and then yeah so being in a car accident that was you know it was horrible but right after it happened I um had said they were like oh you know you need to we need to take you to the hospital you know you've got to have injuries and stuff like that and all I had was like a slight um like laceration on my head Oh, yeah. So you hit the steering wheel? Yeah, so, I, well, I must... I have yeah. no idea what... what did you, yeah. did you, were you unconscious at all? No. Well, I, I must have been because... For a second or something. Yeah, because yeah. I remember... I remember hitting the tree, don't remember anything, and then waking up, the car was completely yeah. still, and I was facing the other way, so it yeah. must have hit and then gone that way. Turned yeah. Around. Yeah, turned around. Yeah. Sorry, I keep hitting the microphone. Yeah, right. um, and then... Um, yeah, so then they said, look, we've got to get you to the hospital. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. I just want to go home. Like, please let me go home. Yeah. I just... I don't want to fuss. I just yeah. want to go home, yeah. which is a massive sign. Um, concussion. Concussion. Yeah. Um, went to, there was a like tiny little medical centre and they had a junior doctor and she was there and she checked me over and I was like, please, I just want to go home. And I was living with mum and dad um, 
uh, in their house and mum had come to get me and they said, they were like, just please make sure that you're waking her through the night. Like, yeah. just don't leave her by herself. and yeah. if, Otherwise, she's going to have to go to hospital. And mum mm-hmm. swore, she was like, I promise I will. And so she did. Mum like, stayed beside my bed and woke me up like every couple of hours checking to see if I was okay. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the next day, um, I had really bad whiplash. Mm. And so we went into um, just the medical center yeah. in town to get checked over and stuff. But even then, there was definite signs that there was something that wasn't right. Oh, really? So a couple of weeks later, like, I went back to work. Oh, I probably had, oh, I had like, a, a week or whatever off. But I was just really keen to just get over it and get back into work and stuff because I yeah. loved my job. But things started getting really, really hard, yeah. and I just didn't know what was going. Physically, like, mentally, mentally, like mentally, I just couldn't oh, yeah. compute yep. certain, like certain things. You know, I had the same thing when I had concussion. Really? Yeah. Because yeah. you know, I got hit by a bike. Yes. When I was crossing the road once, and um, yeah, I had concussion from that, and I had the same problem. Wow. Yeah. It took me a long time to recover from that. Yes. It well, was, it's a brain injury. It is a brain injury because yeah. you're basically your brain, your brain has, has knocked s- in your head and, and that's swollen. Like, yeah, mm. this, yeah. I was bleeding out of my ears. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, really have, you been tri- have you been tested for CTE? Have either of you? No. What's CTE? Um, cranium something enema. It's like... Probably have it. It's like something that happens <laughs> to people, like, people live with it. but it's like, like rugby players and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. We probably all got it from when we were kids. I mean, oh, you're yeah. a rugby player, and yeah. I got hit by a bike. You got and I had a tree. Yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, I'll just suck it up. Bonded man. together, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so I remember the the pivotal moment was my mum was um, did the accounts for the office, um, and she was in the office with the boss all the time. Anyway, I was out in the middle of a paddock, and I had an irrigator, which I don't know, people don't know what an irrigator is. It's basically the massive, mm. massive sprinkler um, out in the middle of a paddock. And I was sitting on the motorbike, and my boss came out, and he's like, what the fuck are you doing in her? And I'm like, I don't know what I'm really? doing. Oh, and no. he's like, you've fucking done this a million times. What the fuck's wrong with you? And I'm like, I have no idea what to do. I oh, don't really? know what I'm doing. Yeah. Anyway, he's like, oh, I'll fucking oh, I'll finish doing it. Head back to the office, blah, blah, blah. Um, he went back to mum and he's like, you need to go take her to the hospital. There's something wrong with her. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then um, he's like, G- she can't work. Like, I can't I can't yeah. have her out on the road. I can't, like, I can't trust her, which to me was like the biggest dig when someone yeah. says it. But he was saying it from like an employee. I totally understand A why safety, he said it. But at the time yeah. I was gutted because I was like, this is my job and he yeah. doesn't trust me anymore. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, got a diagnosis of a um, delayed brain injury and then um I had like behaviors my behaviors had been next level like I'd been kicked out of home I was living with mum and dad like in that time like all Uh, these things started stacking up that was like the pivotal moment me being in the middle of the paddock but um like mum and I had a massively strained relationship I was horrible to them and then um I was living with a friend of mine and then yeah I had to start doing had a um, therapist who came out yeah. and had literally, she would do these sessions with me and she'd put like a picture in front of me and say, okay, cool. You can look at this for 30 seconds. Then she'd take it away and she'd say, okay, tell me, you know, how many sales were on the boat and I wouldn't be able to answer that. Uh, yeah. So all of that, like your relationship with your parents, like going to shed and all that was yeah. just like you literally like, trying to recover yes or like you weren't recovering being in denial from, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 but like also it's it's like a big shock to your system when shit like that happens yes yeah. it yeah, is yeah. And, yeah. Like, if you and i'm like this is the way i am yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. not accepting me that this is the way i am yeah. this is the way that i am now and yeah. you just have to accept it and they weren't because yeah. they're going no there's something wrong like this isn't you yeah, and like okay. it's you know being a teenager kind of thing i was only in my early 20s yeah and i'm just like you know Gift. I don't care. Well, yeah. I'll go live with someone else then. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. So, I don't know. So that changed me as a person yeah. from that because, um, like, even my mum and sister have said, you know, that I'm not the same person that I really? was before then. Oh. I can't remember, like, a person, my personality before really? then. Yeah. But, yeah, they've said that the way that I am now isn't 
as much as yeah i was i was a lot more had a bit more of a backbone whereas i i've done a lot of work on myself but um yeah. but yeah i used to be like a massive massive people pleaser i still am but yeah. i'm i'm a recovering recovering people pleaser recovering <laughs> recovering <laughs> people still pleaser that's me um so yeah i'm just but i am just who i am you guys don't know any different so are you are you like <laughs> Are you not as light, light, light hearted as you were before? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is everything like a bit? I don't know. Is your personality? Do your personality change a lot? Um. Not really. I had have always had depression, so I had depression since I was fourteen years yeah. old. Yeah. Um. That Same. Prob- Hey. <laughs> Welcome to the black hole. Um. <laughs> we have medicated. <laughs> we medicated. <laughs> Amen. Um. Yeah, I. It's weird because I, I, I'm not the kind of person that puts blame on things that have happened in my life to give me excuses for behaviours, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. You know, I've had lots of stuff happen in my life, but I'm not going to turn around and say, "Oh well, you know, it's because I was in a car accident. Yeah. I can act this way," yeah. or maybe this is the reason why because I I have to own I own whatever it is that I'm going yeah. through. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's I'm good. Nuts, that's, so. That is good. Because you don't want to have a, a victim mentality. No, over your I whole can't life. stand it. But it's no. also it means that you're you're aware of your traumas. Yes. And you yeah. actively deal with them. Yeah, and I yeah. will articulate them because then yeah, people exactly. understand. Yeah. 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 Let's talk about the boy. <laughs> Look at the blue line. <laughs> yeah, I know that's me. Yeah. Um. So I survived heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um. So I'm not going to use his real name because he doesn't deserve that. Yeah. What and are we going to call him? Roger. Roger the Dodger. <laughs> Roger that's the actually Dodger. so good though. Thanks. Yeah. Hold on. Um, oh, no, that's right. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so I um, so I was living in Brisbane. Um, I was in my mid-20s now. And so this is, is this in next in the order? Of oh, what? Yes. the next thing was the Christchurch earthquake. Oh, no, really? that, that was before the, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, we'll go, no, that's right. No, we'll just right. go we Roger. Just, just... So I survived a heartbreak. Yeah. Old Roger Dodger. That's a code name. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I had, I was living in Brisbane and I was in my mid-twenties. I was happy wee girl. Um, mm. I was working in recruitment. I was living the corporate life, dressing up every day, wearing my heels. What part of Brisbane were you living in? Uh, um, I think it was at Kangaroo Point. Oh, were you living in No, that's when I moved back. To, I moved back to Kangaroo Point. Somewhere north side. I've only really ever lived north side. The or Cooma, because I am from New Zealand. Like <laughs> Is the bloke we're talking about... He's Kiwi. Yes. Yeah. You, like you, like you guys moved over here or something together. You're gonna you you got to gotta listen to the story, yeah, yeah, yeah. mate. <laughs> <laughs> Jump in. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, I was living, loving my life. Um, yeah, dressing up and yeah, I just was really happy. Anyway, then I started talking um to my best friend from school, which was a guy. Okay. And um, which is Roger. We just Dodger. no, we just we'd, we'd always talked, so we'd always oh, been yeah. good friends. Mm. Okay. Um, this is Roger Dodger, and so he's playing the long game, and he <laughs> and he scored it eventually. <laughs> well, I am definitely a catch. <laughs> <Definitely>. <laughs> Yeah. But so he and I were became best friends when we were at what we what we call college in New Zealand, and um, is that high, high school, school? Oh, high, high school, school. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and um, nothing had ever happened between us. We'd never kissed. We'd never done anything. Um, we'd always like missed the boat. Like one of oh, us yeah. would have a boyfriend, or one of yeah. a girlfriend, yeah. or whatever. Um, he was a bit promiscuous, so, you know, went through my friends and my sister and stuff, but didn't really care because we were friends. So I wasn't he really... up with your sister. Yeah, he did. Yeah, sounds like me numerous school, times. to be honest with you. Yeah, this was high yeah, school. Yeah, 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 that was just like, the way it is. Yeah, literally. Oh, I don't... I don't know. They bumped uglies, babe. They what? They bumped, bumped uglies. Uglies. <laughs> bumped uglies? Do you not know what that is? Are you calling your private parts ugly? Yeah, they bumped uglies. Do you not know what that is? Are you calling your private parts ugly? Yeah. Mine's <laughs> really good looking. <laughs> No, we don't need to know. <laughs> Yours is much better. Thanks know. to Femfresh. Uh, 
<laughs> Sorry about that. This is, <laughs> I have to cut so much of this shit. No, out. you don't. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. That was funny. Anyway, yeah. Um, so yeah, we had been. Um, Sorry. I could but, never sleep with someone that slept with my sister. Oh, okay. You, no, he didn't. No, I don't think they sleep together. They would have oh. just like kissed and they. Oh, okay. I think she. Oh, oh, we um, had always been talking. Nothing had ever happened between us. Just never worked. The timing never kind of worked out, which was fine. But we were really, really, really good friends. We used to talk about everything, um, like heartbreaks, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, we – I don't really know – how did it start? He decided that he was going to come over, I think, for Christmas. Um, and our talking had kind of become a bit more serious. Oh. Yeah. And he came over on Christmas Day, and we decided to give it a go. And Did you spend Christmas Day together with your family? Yes. And so he, he came to there. stay with us. Oh, yeah, he came wow. to stay. It was a big deal. Mum and Dad, like, desperately wanted us to get married. Um, mm. The oh, whole shebang. So because hard, we had it? been best friends. Yeah. yeah, we'd been, like, always been best friends. And it was just the, um, I suppose it's just the dream that you want, you know, you anyway. So yeah, it's every gave parent's it a, dream. Gave it a go. Um, <laughs> Stop talking of me when I try to talk to you. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's like every parent's dream that your kids are happy. Yes. Yeah. yeah so they just want the best for you, but also like don't push me into a relationship yes. that probably it's not going to work out. But it's also the dream, I think, when you've got, you know, a, a boy that you've known forever. Yeah, literally. Yeah. And, you know, he's making your daughter happy. And, and you, you think, oh, this is great. Families oh, no and life. stuff. There's no, what do you call it, um, period. Like, there's no, like, awkward game to yeah. Oh, okay, period. yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, because you already know them. Yes. You, they would know his family. and. Well, yeah, we didn't really interact with his family because they were, weren't, like, the most social kind of people. But he was part of our family. He used to come around to our house all the time that, Whatever. Anyway, we're digressing. Yeah. So he came over to Brisbane. We, you know, hooked up, Wait, gave it a go. So you were here and then he came over? Yes, he yeah. came over for a visit, oh, for a yeah. holiday. And then I decided, nah, I'm going to move. Mm. I'm going to move over. He oh, asked yeah. me to go. He was living in Auckland um, and he was um, like all established and stuff over there. And I was like, you know what, stuff it. You know, I'm going to marry this guy. I love him to bits. And yeah, wow. I'm going to move move to Auckland. That so was almost a movie. What do you mean? Like, that's, this is a yeah. movie story. Like. Well, it's a horror, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I mean. It was almost It turns a into movie. a thriller. Yeah. Ain't no rom-com. So, like, you two had talked about, like, what life would be like if you moved over there with him? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. So, what's, like, sort of a picture that he would paint So, we were going to live together. I was going to get a recruitment job okay. because that's the field that I was in and I loved it. Um, and um, he was working. We wanted to buy a house together. You know, yeah. we wanted the whole nine yards. Mm. Yeah. White picket fence, kids, blah, blah, blah. But ultimately, we just wanted to be together because we were going to give it a hot shot. Yeah. Um, so I quit my job, um, packed up my life, and like the day had been set. I still get the memories up coming up on Facebook, but I've oh been deleting God. them. because I turned s- those off. Yeah. I, <laughs> anyway. So um, I... We had ar- a going away party. Yep. We had a going away party. There was... Like, my whole life I had Wait, packed all my things. Yeah, because yeah, we, we knew each other. best mates. So, when did you meet? How long had you been in Australia? A couple of years. Yeah, a couple we of years. We met straight away when she moved Yeah, over the first here. when I moved yeah. here. Yeah, so then a couple of years later, old mate moved, come over for a holiday. Yeah. And yeah. Then, yeah, okay. And yeah. then she's yeah. off again. Yeah. yeah. And then off Ditched again. Ditched me. Ditched you for a boy. And, um, yeah, so we moved, um, moved all the way over. So... I moved to Auckland and I remember getting off the plane. I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually happening. Um, went to his house. He He's a bloke, so he hadn't really like set anything up yeah, or yeah. whatever, but he was living in a flat. Did um, he get you flowers or like a no, welcome think so. parcel? No, but I don't really have expectations. I don't really like that. That would have been nice. So, oh, that would be nice, but James no. actually greeted me at the airport with roses. See? Yeah, I know. Super cute. Like Just that. now? No, yeah, when I came back from oh, New yeah. Zealand. If yeah, he wanted he to, he would. He would, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. He just, he did not want to. Um, not James, I mean this bloke. Roger. So, <laughs> I would have been there, I was there 
maybe on my second day, I didn't have a lot of money. He had said that he was going to financially help me. Yeah. Um, but I'd like sold everything. I had, I was, we were living in Brighton. That's where we were living. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Digress. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. That's um, And then, um, right, really long story short, I'd been there about maybe seven days. It would have been just on a week, if not a little bit less. He went out for the night, which was fine. Um, and I was texting him and stuff. And he wasn't really texting me back, but oh, he'd yeah. gone to this party and yeah. I didn't go. I can't remember if I didn't want to. Believe it or not, I actually get really socially anxious. I'm quite an, like an introvert. Yeah. Shut up, I am. <laughs> I said nothing. Anyway, um, and he wasn't like texting me back or anything and he didn't come back until the morning and I was like, oh, this is weird. So I said to him, I was like, look, mate, so like odd. I don't know anyone here. I would have two yeah. friends here. You've left me all by myself. You weren't even messaging me back. I know you were at a party, so you would have been up. Yeah. Like it's made me feel pretty shit. Yeah. And then he basically said, well, I think you've made the wrong decision and I think you should move back home. <gasps> what a dog. And I think you should move back. Yes. You've made the wrong decision and I think that you should move back. Oh. Uh, not a, uh, I, re- I, I'm, I don't what want this. Dog. I actually don't. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. you've made the wrong decision and you should You've made home. the wrong decision. So I made the wrong decision. do you think he was seeing someone else? I don't know. I think someone got in his ear and yeah. said, you're young, you know, you you're doing, still, man? yeah, what are you, you know, doing? Yeah. This girl, you know, she's just going to try and milk your pocket. Yeah. Also, he had, um, so he, everyone was calling him Rog and I knew him as Roger. Oh, yeah. So I was a part of his past. So he'd move up to Auckland. He moved out of the small yeah, town yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was now living like he was a builder. He was, you know, started new life, new yeah. me, new you, whatever. And he, I would still call him Roger yeah. and I would be bringing up, sorry, like, but his past that he didn't want to have anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Isn't we're... that odd? So instead of like, he didn't want to be called his full name. no. He just wanted to be known as his Because he's a new person. He's a new person, lives in a new city. Yeah, yeah. so I think he went to this party, someone got into his ear, yep. said, look, mate, she's going to hold you back. Yeah. What are you doing? So would he have been about, what, 25, 26? Yeah, yeah we would have been about this. Oh, yeah, you like know, yeah, early to mid-20s, yeah. You know someone tried to do that to me? What? <laughs> With us? Yeah, when, when, when we first got together. No! <laughs> someone I used to work with, like, and, I'm, and I was mates with him, he literally we were on the piss and he's like, What are you doing? Like, bro, you're young. You can like you can do better. You're young. <gasps> and I was like, I don't know, like, chill out. Like, what do you why do you I, I think I said to him, Why do you have an opinion on this? <laughs> it's not wow. really your place to have an opinion. Who he's was like, it? I'm just letting you I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you over a microphone. Was it Roger? Tell me <laughs> no, 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 I'll tell you later. But um yeah. Wow. That, and people done it to you too. Yeah. Did you do it, huh? No. No, he it's fine if you did. You're yes. a brown boy from Logan. You're exactly what she asked for. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> yeah, no. But even my Facebook status to say that yeah. my old ones, you love to bring it up. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy though. Yeah. So then, what you ended up? So I am. How what, how many days? Like you were there seven days when that happened. Yeah. How many days later did you move back out? So I am. So I would have ran. Well, I was broke. So I didn't have yeah, so you couldn't just no leave. money. And I'm also very, very um, stubborn. Yeah. So the last thing I wanted was to... Do it fly? Fuck, the camera will see that too. It annoys me so much. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Um, the, yeah, I, I did not want to go back to mm. Brisbane and mm. have everyone say... Because I did have people say, you're making the wrong decision. You shouldn't yeah, be moving yeah, for yeah. a guy. And yep. I did not want that to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I still have that. <laughs> On your head. Uh, I still had friends in Christchurch, yeah. mm-hmm. and um, so I got talking to one of those friends. And your parents were living here. Yeah, they were so. in Australia. Oh, everyone yeah. had moved over. Yeah, yeah everyone yeah, had yeah. moved over. Like after the earthquakes, we'd all moved. Oh, okay. So um, that, is that why you moved? Or yes, kind of not. That's really. why I moved to Brisbane. Yeah, to okay. Brisbane. Yeah. 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 Um, so. Um, yeah, so I messaged my friend. I, like, I had a friend that I knew someone in Auckland, but like she had her own life, whatever, and I wanted to get the fuck out of Auckland. Yeah. I didn't want to see him again. I didn't want to do anything. And so I packed all my stuff, and then my friend came and picked me up and then booked a flight to 
um, Christchurch yeah. and then moved down there. That also unfortunately turned to shit, but whatever. Oh. And um, and then I had to, I needed to get out of um, Christchurch because obviously I wasn't dealing with what had happened. Yeah. Um, I was pretty broken up about it. Didn't have my support network, like yeah, everyone around me yeah. and everything kind of crumbled. And I rang my mum and I was like, mum, I need to get home. And she's like, you need to ring that boy and ask him to pay for your flight. Good on you, Han. And I did. And it was the hardest thing yeah. ever. I sent him an email and I was like, this is my situation. Yeah. You put me here. You need to pay for my flight to yeah. go home and Good my extra Back baggage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I did. And, and the day that I landed, was it your birthday or was it Sarah's birthday? There was oh, a funny. party for someone. At our house? No, it was in the valley. Oh. I can't remember. There was a dress up. It was a dress up party. I remember Tanika was wearing like an Indian headdress. Oh, yeah. I remember that. That was not a birthday party. What was it? It was like a church thing. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. yeah. I remember going to that and I was so scared because I thought you were all going to say what are you doing? Like, you know, yeah, we told like you that was going to happen. No one did yeah. because I told them, don't you fucking say that to me. <laughs> oh <my> God, I, <laughs> so I was that. like, yes, I'm back. Don't tell me that it was, you knew it was going to happen. Yeah. I'm here. Like, just let it go. Yeah. 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 Wow. I yeah. love that. We just, um, that we're just letting you tell your stories. Yeah. yeah thanks. Yeah. I don't think that this, it was going to be this. I thought it was going to be more like, um, like, if, like, Conversational, like yeah, yeah. yeah right. I'm, just, I'm, I'm enjoying just listen, oh, good. Listening, listening to yeah, you. Yeah, she's a story. certified yapper. <laughs> yapper, sure yapper, yapper, yapper. Well, Shanice. The thing is, we all Shut have it. A, we all Shanice. All I hear stop. is yapper, yapper, yapper. <laughs> we all have stories. Yeah. Like it's just the average person, yeah. like your next door neighbours, whoever. Yeah. Everyone's got a story that's interesting in yeah. some way. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it's, I, I love. That's why I love talking. Yeah, cool. I do actually other people talk. <laughs> I mean, thank you for the <laughs> stopping and having a breath so I can say something. So anyways. <laughs> Let's talk about the reason you came over from Christchurch to Brisbane. Okay. I survived an earthquake. The Christchurch earthquakes. The Christchurch earthquakes. Like, very bad. They were. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone remembers, well, especially the people that were in Christchurch at the time, yeah. remember what they were doing when it happened. And you've told yeah. me what happened. Yeah, what so you were doing. I was living in not not too far from the city, and um, I was living with two other girls in a um, like a, a townhouse. Yeah. So, and we were upstairs. Yeah. And I remember. Was the ghost? I think it happened about like three o'clock in the morning, and I remember waking up and like just hearing this noise in the rumble. And in New Zealand, I don't like. Do you remember having earthquakes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they happen. They happen. Used to happen all the time. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it yeah. happened when we were back there for our wedding. Yeah. But yes. Right. Yeah. 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 But in New, Zealand, I don't know. As a kid, you can't. You grow up with them happening all the time. Yeah. So I was like, oh, it's an earthquake, and then I'm like, oh my god, this isn't going to stop. Oh yeah. my gosh, this is not stopping. Yeah. And um, oh I remember the girl, we were all screaming and the girls ran into my room. And they were like, what the fuck's happening? What the fuck's happening? And we're like, oh, it's just like, it's going to stop. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. And yeah. then they just kept coming yeah. over and over. And How long we... did they actually happen for? Um, was it a couple of weeks or days? Months and months. But like the big ones. The big ones. So the... the that, that one, I was working as a store manager at La Visa, which was in, like, the record in Westfield. And that happened, that one happened, was was it around Christmas? Was it Boxing Day or something? Oh, I can't even remember. Oh, it's terrible because I should remember the date. But when it happened, because um, it was a big retail day, like retail trade day that it, was, yeah. it had happened. And... Um, yeah, they. Then there was the one where the people unfortunately um, passed away. They were killed, and yeah. that because no one died in the first one. Yeah. Um. It was the second one that there was. I think it was one hundred and three people were killed. Yeah. Oh. That was in the city where the like the buildings Just literally collapsed. collapsed. Were they, were they those old buildings? 
They were, but some of them, like, they were, like I said, they were going for months and months and yeah, months and yeah, months. Yeah. And, like, you yeah. can imagine those buildings have just gone, and I've had enough. Yeah. Like, I'm done. And yeah. they just crumbled. And yeah. it's the, the great, like, we've all got a story about what we were doing, when they happened, how we missed it, how we could have been there extra five minutes, yeah. five yeah. seconds, and it's, been in the wrong yeah. place at the wrong That's time. So, yeah, it's the crazy. same with, like, 9-11, hey? Like, yes. people say that, oh, I could have been in that building because I was touring, but... Yes, you know, or I couldn't or... sick that day and, you yeah. know, and I was at home and I had to watch all my co-workers pass away and stuff. Yeah. Like, it was it was just... So, the, the first one that happened, it was it was pitch black, which made it ten times worse. Yeah. And then mm. the and alarms go... Oh, place. it's terrifying. Yeah, it's, it's such a strange mm. feeling. Yes, yeah. it is. It's pitch black, so you've lost a sense. So, you've yeah, really yeah, lost yeah. one of your senses. And then the smells start, but you can hear, like car alarms going off like the yeah. power's not working so and then yeah. generators are kicking in and there's just the craziest and then you just feel the earth just feels like it's fucked off like yeah, it's just yeah. and it just yeah. is violently shaking yeah. and then you walk somewhere and then you go oh my god it's coming again it's coming again yeah, it's coming wow. again and then like you go out into the outside and everybody's outside in their pajamas and their nighties and their dressing gowns and stuff and we're all going what the fuck is going on like yeah. it's like world like a, a war yeah. everyone's standing out not knowing what on earth is going on because they just kept coming yeah. and then you're screaming and then you're trying to find like somewhere that makes you feel safe yeah. because where we thought we were safe which was like in our houses or in our beds because we were asleep yeah. you know we're yeah, getting yeah, ready yeah. to wake up in the morning and go on to our normal day and our mm. day was never going to be the same yeah. ever again and they just kept coming and coming and then the light starts you know the it starts getting lighter in the day and then we start seeing yeah. you know all of our plates are smashed, yeah. all of the glass is smashed, yeah, wow. and then you go out into the street and there's cracks in the road and the there's Was cars. That all after the first day? This the is this night? is this is the first like in the first morning yeah. and there's this thing which we now know which we is called liquefaction, which yeah. is like the it's like a, a this, yeah, this slop kind of stuff yeah. that came up, which was like sewerage as well um, as yeah, it turns the, sediment. Like, topsoil into just mush and then yes. everything collapses into it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, never yeah. heard of that. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, so where we were, so we were on Madras Street, which is, so I don't, if you're not familiar with Christchurch, the central, the CBD is built up on a grid system. Yeah. Um, so it's all done by the avenues and then everything links up. So even like the um, traffic lights and stuff are all linked up. So if you're going down one street and you get green lights, you will get them the whole way pretty much to where it is that you're going because yep. of the way that the grid system mm -hmm. works. It's a, a, like amazing. Obviously, that's not working. But... Um, yeah. Yeah, it, it, as the light starts going in, then you're going, well, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to be going to work, but what's happened to my work? Yeah. Like, what would be happening to my work? What are we supposed to do? And then we're trying Who to get... Who is buying custom, like, costume jewellery right now? <laughs> well, yeah, nobody. So... Everybody. <laughs> right, so... just, but people were just... Because people would be coming into town and they'd be like, oh, there's nothing wrong with my day. Well, why? People still have an expectation wow. that they could shop. So there was still people, like, for that first... Like, after that first night... Yeah. Obviously, there were still people, like, living normally. Yes. So when did everyone start realising, like, oh, we can't live our normal lives? Or was, um, or was everyone trying to live a normal life for months while it was happening? There were still people that were, um, like, we would have people come to Christchurch to see the devastation. Oh, that's, yeah. And, oh, oh, did and you, did yeah, you, did you lose cool. anything in the earthquakes? Yeah. Or what happened in the earthquakes for you? Or, you know, did you have any destruction? Yeah. Or did you lose anything? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, so you lost, you know, all your, everything in your kitchen. Well, I lost, you know, pictures and I lost my TV. And, you know, it's, everyone wanted a, a store. Yeah, it yeah. was, yeah. it was gross. It was, and that's what, like, the news crews, every time they were coming, like, what destruction happened to you? What happened yeah, yeah, to you yeah. kind of thing? And they're wanting the give best the sad, story. The oh, story you like, you know, there was a girl in the mall whose daughter was, like, her 
picture fell down onto the baby's cot, so it like like on top of the baby's cot and went in, and like it was so traumatic for her as it would be. Yeah. Um. You know, and then there, everyone's oh, did you hear about that woman? You know, her baby yeah, yeah, head yeah, was yeah, in yeah. the cot, and then the, the thing like yeah. it's all about these stories. Did the it's glass disgusting. shatter and everything? Uh, yeah, sh- shattered on top of um mm. like where it didn't get on the baby. Thank. Oh my god. Uh, thank but god. there were so many near misses. The like the one the next one that happened in February, um, where that was more centered in the city. That was my brother. He was um, he was working in the city at the time, and they had just had some something happened with him. Like with a there was a concrete block or something. They yeah. were all sitting having their lunch or their morning tea at that time, yeah. and then they'd got up. And then just as they got up, it hit, and then the concrete slab oh. fell down, and they would have all been like. Injured or yeah. crushed, yeah, yeah, crushed. yeah, yeah, yeah. Crush. I and then when that that second one happened, I was in working at the mall, the mall. Oh, you guys don't call them malls; you come to shopping centres. So I was in the shopping centre, and I remember like it happening, and I was uh, on my lunch break um, about three um, three stores away from mine, and I remember walking, and it literally felt like the ground was like curving I looked at the ground thinking that the tiles were coming yeah. up it was crazy yeah crazy and I walked over to my store ran into my store sorry and then I was like come on everyone we need to get out and there was this woman lying like down in the back of my store and she was a bigger woman and she was screaming and crying and she was like I can't do this again I can't do this again I'm like miss you have to get up I yeah. cannot leave this store I can't, you have to leave this store I can't leave until you leave oh, I can't do this again oh my god and I'm yeah. like you're not gonna die but you have got to get out of this store because I can't leave until you're out of the store got her out of the store and then like as we're walking we're going oh my gosh look what's happening there shop and then we're standing outside so all of these retail people are standing out thinking what the fuck's happened and then we start hearing the stories oh my god people are dead it's happened in the city oh my god this person's dead you know oh there's um hundreds of people have dead there's buildings that have fallen down in the city and we're going what the hell and we you can't it's not back and not we didn't have tiktok back then you know we didn't have it's gradual like drip feed yeah yeah and it's worse 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 and then oh no it's not that bad and then it's oh my gosh it's really really bad and then yeah. yeah, and then everyone's trying to get to their safe places wherever it is, and that's still happening. The earthquakes are still going on, and you're thinking, "Wow, well, is this going to be the one that is going to devastate yeah. everyone?" Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, you just hear all of these reports. Like we, we honestly, as horrible. Sometimes it's it's terrible that we get news as fast as what we do. do because yeah. back in the, like back then, it was horrific. It yeah. was just constantly hearing these waves wow. of this gossip and then well I heard that this happened oh yeah. my god did you hear that and then that gets bigger and bigger and bigger and yeah. bigger yeah. Um, but yeah that was uh, that was absolutely insane yeah. and you we all had PTSD after that like because yeah, we went you. through hundred. I can't remember I think it was something like 6,000 earthquakes or whatever that yeah. it worked out when we oh. moved to Brisbane how many we'd all been through yeah. so my brother and his wife they had two boys they were the first to leave mm. um, my brother he was um, it was it was re- like yeah that was another whole thing because um, there were people who were um, didn't have insurance and then like mm. everyone started getting stickered so their houses would get like a red sticker and if it was a red sticker you can't live in your house you, you can't live in there you're not allowed to be in there you literally have to get out yeah. like these whole suburbs oh my goodness. in Christchurch so where that are, are still nothing where's everyone going well, they're going they to Nelson or they're going to like so everywhere they, they could. Leave, yeah. But then there's people that literally cannot leave their houses because they're still paying a mortgage. Yeah. They um, don't have anywhere to go. They're yeah. older people who don't know anyone. Yeah. Um, they can't, literally cannot afford to leave their houses. So they're stuck in their homes yeah. because they've got nowhere to go. Yeah. Even though they're stickered? Yeah, even though they yeah. were stickered. Yeah. Um, so then, yeah, so these whole suburbs in Christchurch now that are just, they'll now turn into parks or there's just yeah, random houses true. there because yeah. no one was allowed to go back. Yeah, it, true. It's the most 
eerie feeling. Really? Oh, it's, it's absolutely. Like it's still like that to this day. Yeah. Like there's gr- there was gr- like there's, you go drive down the street and you're like, oh, I remember that there were houses there and there'd be a beautiful tree that would have been in someone's backyard. Yeah. yeah. That was a backyard yeah, where kids true. there's like yeah. driveways. The thing is yeah, still there the for it to be a driveway and there's an empty, empty block. block of yeah. nothing and you're not allowed to build on it anymore because it's on the. Um, fault, fault line, line. Yeah. and because of what happened like you can't can't be there anymore wow. oh wow that is so, so interesting I didn't know yeah. that that was a thing you can't do that no. the, those earthquakes were that bad that in everywhere else in New Zealand yeah. especially Hawke's Bay because we're on a fault line as well Yeah, um, we were getting the aftershocks so yeah. when they wow. come up on the news in Christchurch they then tell us in Hawke's Bay to prepare and like they had the, your guys were like magnitude eight eight, like yeah, with the like big ones. eight nines. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we would get like threes and fours in Hawke's Bay. Oh, but then wow. you guys are right next to the ocean yeah. as well, so then it's like oh tsunami warnings, yeah, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Everyone goes on to high, yeah, yeah. high alert. Yeah, yeah. So I think you told me once about a story where you were like in a park mm-hmm. and you were maybe on your lunch break mm-hmm. and you. Do you remember that story? And you told me about how you, there was a, um earthquake that came and, like, flung you in the air. No, I don't remember that oh, story. Okay. Maybe that was my sister. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't remember that story. Well, maybe it was, like... Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't remember that story. I, um, one of the... Um, the, another eerie thing that happened was because obviously people had to leave straight away, so the whole of the city like was shut down. So you weren't allowed to go in there. Yeah. But people were having lunch. People were, you know, had, you know, were out for lunch in cafes, and so their cakes were still sitting there. You yeah, know, crazy. weeks and weeks and weeks later. So they had this <gasps> massive rodent infestation oh, that no. happened oh, that's crazy. because houses, you know, that have, you know, people would still have like a fridge full of food, or yeah. and they literally can't. They're not allowed. There's like lockdown zone. You're not allowed to go back in there. So, yep. like, you'd see these pictures of. They would still have them of like people. You'd walk down a. Uh, like a street in the city and then there's you know four cups set up of coffee oh that yeah, people wow. that were about to have and there's a bakery that's still got all its bake- baking in it that's all gone mouldy and stuff because they were still up for trade they just yeah. couldn't they're not allowed to go back there's people's handbags sitting on chairs oh, wow. that they weren't allowed to go and get it was, it, it, yeah. It's and so have cool. you been back to Christchurch? Yes. Since? Yeah, I've, we moved back to Christchurch um, when my son was six months old. Um, and it's so funny because they always say, tell God your plans and he'll, you know, laugh. Yeah. And um, my husband put in for a transfer and I said, the only place I do not want to go is Christchurch. Yeah. I don't want to go to Christchurch. Yeah. I will go anywhere else. I'll even go to Auckland, but I will not go to Christchurch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll even go see Roger. I will go see Roger Dodger. <laughs> but that is where he got his transfer. Of all the places in New was, Zealand. I was very surprised that you were moving back there. Things yeah. you do for love, mate. Yeah. Yeah. And so when did you decide to move to Brisbane after all the tremors? Basically, so my brother and my um, sister-in-law, they moved over. Then my sister moved over. I was really happy to stay in New Zealand. I did not want to leave. I did not want to leave. I wanted to stay there. I, you know, New Zealand was my home and that's where I wanted to be. But mum and dad were like, you need to move to Australia because it's not safe for you to be in Christchurch anymore. You need to move. Um, And so that's when I moved over and then they moved over shortly after. So they don't recall having that conversation with you? Is that what you're saying? No. 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 They were like, no, 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 you wanted to move over. But I really would have been quite happy to to stay in New Zealand. My plan was to marry a dairy farmer called Andrew. Was that his actual name? No, that was just that when I was a little girl. That's what I wanted. I wanted to marry a dairy farmer called Andrew, live on a big block, and have a driveway. A big lifestyle with trees. block. No, no, like a, a dairy, dairy farm farmer. block. Yeah. Oh. And then yeah. have my um, chickens and my five kids and be yeah. a homemaker. That's what I wanted to do. Again, I Thanks. told God my plans, and He <laughs> laughed. This is he funny did because. Laugh. And I wouldn't trade my life now. Just saying. You just described like 
because I spent a lot of time in rural New South Wales. Yeah. You just described every mum slash wife in yeah. rural New that South Wales. That was my dream. Yeah. They all wear country roads yep. and drive Pratos and Land Cruisers. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I, I wanted, wanted. Yep. I wanted yeah. a Toyota Land Cruiser. Yeah. I wanted five kids. I wanted to yeah. – that was, that was my dream. But that's not my dream anymore. My dream is to be, what with, is my, dream now? Being with my boys and being a kindy teacher. Yeah. I only just learned that you're a kindy teacher. Yeah, so I'm an assistant kindy teacher. Yeah. Yeah, and I absolutely love it. Do you really? Yeah, love it. How crazy. Isn't that funny? Because when you started <coughs> doing kindy teaching, you were studying to be a vet nurse. <coughs> or a vet? Um, a vet. So I wanted to be a large animal vet. Mm. Um, that or like was a horse. Like to produce animals. Yeah, so I would have done horses, like equine. Yeah, yeah. Um, But produce animals, so like pigs, um, uh, cows, sheep, that kind of stuff. I didn't want to do dogs and cats or birds and stuff wouldn't like you that. Just, but animals like that, wouldn't you just off them anyway? <coughs> and Pardon? you chuck them in the freezer? So, um, the, no. The one thing that is, why would people fix them when they're... When they're because they're breathing? worth a lot of money. Yeah. 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 But when, isn't that like, if a, if a sheep like broke its leg, wouldn't you just chop it up, put it in the freezer anyway, instead of trying to fix it? Uh, it depends. Yeah. Um, because if you have, like, depending on its weight and stuff, so everything's made for, it, is produced for yeah. money, right? Yeah. Um, and so, like, so I was a calf rearer. That's when I wanted to be, found it, like, my love for wanting to be a vet, like a yeah, produce okay. animal vet. And um, we were rearing, rearing cars and I absolutely loved, like, the they'd come over, the vets would come, like, they might have, like, a cyst, and I'm talking about those awesome, like... Cysts oh. from TikTok, we send these to each other. Yeah. Have you not cysts. seen them? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to see cows. Oh, yeah. so oh. Good. Wait, so, what's it, what were you saying? You were, you were a calf... Rarer. So you're birthing calves? No, no. So I worked for a contract. Um, she was a co- contract calf rarer. So they would get shipped in because, um, you know, cows, calves don't stay with their mums. Yeah. They get taken away and then they're bred up to be either for meat or milk. Yeah. Um, and so they would come to the farm and then we would teach them how to feed, um, get them to get them to a certain weight. So then they'd either go out to like a dairy farm or whether they'd be going to like the meat works yeah, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So, and then do like, you think, do you, <laughs> do you think cows like when they get put on the truck? Yeah. Do you think they're like, Oh my God, we're going to the promised land. <laughs> We're going to see the boys. Okay, so I did ask the lady that I was working yeah. with. I asked her that kind of question. Well. Yeah, because I, I used to, uh, she used to love the questions I asked. Because yeah. I don't hold back. If I want to ask something, I'm, I don't care how stupid it is. Yeah. I want to know. And so, and I'd said to her, I was like, do you think that they know where they're going? Or do you think they're like, whoa, going yeah, we're the, made going it. To see the brothers, yeah, going to we're see going back home. We get to see mum. Yeah. And she's like, nah. they don't think anything. Yeah, you know? yeah, They're just yeah, like, right. when am I getting fed next? Yeah, I was going to say, it's all based on routine for yes, the cows, right? absolutely. Because yeah. they are. They are incredibly smart. Yeah. yeah. Like, really Not smart. Not that smart. They, they are, don't know uh, where they're going. You know, mm, but they, they're I only like, going to follow the, yeah, yeah, the routine. Are. When I was a kid, because um, my dad's uncle and auntie, they ran a farm. Oh, yeah. Like a big block. And we used to go down there all the time and help them out, but... They were a cow that was pregnant, was ready to give birth. Yeah. The calf had turned oh, and got stuck in the cow. Oh, wow. Did she I get was, a C-section? No, no I was oh, okay. there yeah. when the old fella, um, what was called Key, his name was Key. Yeah. Um, they reached in there. Yeah. Right? And this is a pretty gruesome. They reached in there and tied ropes around the calf's yes. legs. Yeah. Yep. Tied the other end of the ropes to the yeah. Land Rover. Oh, not a tractor. No. Nah. Oh, and you just, need to see my TikTok. That stuff happens. Oh, all. I crazy. love that stuff. Did you know <gasps> yeah. cows get C-sections? No. Yes, I they think, do. No, I didn't know. I yeah. never thought that. Yeah, cows definitely do get C-sections. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Because, I mean, like like we were saying, you wouldn't like just off the cow and then no. chop Cause it open. Because it's worth money. Because yeah. it's Massive money. Yeah. More cows. So one of the breeds that and we were milk, doing was right? Wagyu's. I hate them, can't stand Wagyu's. 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 I cannot even eat Wagyu meat at all. Really? I just can't. It's just fatty, eh? That, no, well, I, it is high fat. But these were beautiful, like, meat calves that we were raising, but they were just assholes to rear. They were oh. so oh, really? hard. They would just, they'd get bloat really easy. So you'd go out to the paddock and they're like, 
literally look like you could really put something on them and they'd fly up in the air. They were yeah. so full. Is that of when air. you put a thing in the side of it yes. and let all the air out? Yeah, did but they you did. know that's yeah, a thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah they did though. <gasps> Yeah, Pardon? yeah. What did they you say? they were dead though. The dive bloke because you've only got a short oh, window okay. of when oh. you can get it out. Yeah, yes. yeah, because it's just like a sickness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. We should have gone on to a farming area. <laughs> I know, isn't it? Because I'm remembering I'm, all these anyway, stories. Anyway, so I did want to be a vet, and then yeah. so I went mm. in and spoke to the local vet at the small town that I was living in. We we moved here, yeah. and she said to me, "There is absolutely no point in pursuing a." Um, career as a vet nurse because um, everyone's going locum you're just not going to get the um, work and you're not going to get paid like you're just not going to be able to finish your studies which I was so upset about and then that's why I became a kindy teacher I've since learned that's not the case but I'm already like oh. loving kindy so that person was lying to you yeah she was just having a really bad day because I spoke to someone and she just felt like telling you yes like discouraging you yes yeah yeah because yeah. they get locums in all the time she's like we're gonna have to shut down our practice because nobody wants to like they're just getting locums in that are coming in like nobody yeah. will stay in town and yeah. they just earn so much money blah 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 there's yeah. no there's no need for vet nurses anymore and I was like oh okay oh. great and then that's how I became a kindy teacher. So you became a kindy teacher back home? No, here. Oh, here. So yeah. I'm studying to be one well. now. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Bloody hell. You know, animals, kids. Same, same thing. thing. What the greatest stories. Yeah. And do you know what? I love that you tell stories in similar ways to Jacques and I. Yes. The details yeah. are there. They are. I, that's why it's, I love it. As soon as Jacques yeah. goes... When I was little, I'm like, oh, here we go. Here we go. I love it. When I watch your podcast, that's what I love, like, waiting for And your banter and stuff that you guys have. Oh, I yeah. just love it. That's it's so really nice good. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, like, is this, are we wrapping up? Well, we have to. Yeah. yeah. We've we got no, exhausted our resources. We've just <laughs> resorted, yeah. I, I eat SD cards. Yeah. 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 It's time for this mama to go to sleep. I'm so tired. Yeah. Yeah. What time do you guys normally go to bed? Just randomly? Oh, two hours, yeah. Like nine? Oh, yeah, same. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, but when we record, it's whenever. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Whenever. Bed? We go to bed as soon as the kids go to bed. So oh, like yeah. So, yeah, yeah. on that coconut oil. Yep. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Why did you leave I don't that on the know. Bedside? It's you left it on the bed. Because you don't have visitors. That's why. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm your only visitor. <laughs> anyway, so thank you for being the first certified yapper. Okay, we are so delighted that you were here. Thank you, Han, Thanks. for being on the podcast. <laughs> the other camera died. The other camera died. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And. You'll be back, hopefully. Oh, I'd love to. Again. You can interview Gordo, too. He'd love to be on the podcast. Well, oh. yeah, we'll do a part two. We'll do a part two. Maybe <laughs> this is the worst angle for well, me ever. Look, hey, I'm all forehead in this shot. <laughs> <laughs> is it a five? No, sorry. <laughs> Get rid of her. <laughs> I love you. Get her out of here. Get oh. her out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Anna. That was Cross Family Podcast, episode seven, done and dusted. Check it. Uh, we need to do headshots and then we can yeah. finish up. <laughs>